Yo, what's going on dudes? HK Titan here with a brand new video for you guys and in today's video, you guys guessed it, we are going to be taking on the Lich Boss. So for this Lich Boss, what I did is I went ahead and installed quite a few mods. Now I'm not going to disclose exactly what mods I have installed just yet, but you guys will find out here in just a second. Alright dudes, it's so time to find out what our first mod is and the first mod that I'm going to be using in this video is going to be the Reforged mod. So what the Reforged mod is, is it's kind of a take on a terraria mod now i personally never played terraria so i can't say for certain what exactly the terraria mod does but the only thing i know is that this mod is going to help us out quite a bit because it's going to increase the amount of money we make with our banana farms and especially with this week's lich i mean this map is terrible for farming to begin with and then you're going to take away a benjamin for this lich boss too man they just want to watch us suffer don't they now the only problem with the reforge mod is when we do reforge our towers all of the upgrades are going to be increased by 10%, but we will generate 10% increased cash. So it's kind of a win-win situation. Like, even though the upgrades do cost more, we will end up making the money we spend on these upgrades back. All right, so round 11, it's time to buy our second banana farm. And of course, we are also going to reforge this banana farm as well, even though, again, it's going to make it so that we need to spend more on the upgrades. So this is going to give us plus 15% range, plus 15% cash, and 20% cost. I'm not a big fan of this reforge because that's 20 percent increased cost but it's going to increase the amount of money we make from this farm by 15 percent now because our dart monkey is starting to fall behind a little bit what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and reforge my dart monkey and that's absolutely terrible uh that's terrible too okay so we have a plus one damage uh plus two pierce plus 10 percent speed and plus 15 percent range this is actually a really really good upgrade all right round 15 we have ourselves a third banana farm so let's see what we get by reforging this tower and we get plus 10 percent cash and plus 10 percent cost so it's not the most amazing upgrade we can get on, on the farm but at least we'll be making some more money round 16 we should start looking at buying ourselves maybe like an engineer to make sure that we can deal with these balloons a little bit easier but i want to get the rest of the upgrades for our farms first there we go let's go ahead and buy ourselves an engineer now so with this engineer i'm kind of debating on where i want to place it but let's go ahead and place it right here and try to place as far to the right as we can get it like so let's go ahead and reforge it so it looks like we're gonna get plus one one pierce so plus 10 percent speed and plus a 10 percent cost this is actually a pretty good upgrade for this because we get more pierce on the engineer and it also and it will also attack faster all right so round 21 let's go ahead and upgrade our engineer monkey then i'm also going to buy larger service areas so our engineer monkey has a little bit more range so i ended up making a little bit of a mistake i forgot to reforge this banana farm up here so it looks like we're going to get 10 percent cash let's reforge the new banana farm we just bought and this one's not going to be good but we do have a negative at seven percent cost so let's go ahead and buy greater production really quick and then we'll go ahead and reforge it again to see if we can get a little bit more money um not really feeling this one let's reforge it one more time and we'll go ahead and take the plus 10 percent cash perfect so i think our farms are doing really really well so far as uh, so the next thing i want to do um we're still doing good because we reforged our engineer and our dart monkey i want to save up to buy myself a marketplace now we can start making a little bit more money the next thing i'd like to do is i'd like to grab myself an alchemist and upgrade the alchemist to led to gold i'm gonna place the alchemist a little bit further back in the track so hopefully we can get enough money for it but it looks like we're gonna come up a little bit short but that's fine all right so there's our led to gold let's go ahead and pop it over to targeting strong and then let's start saving up for another marketplace all right let's go ahead and upgrade our engineer monkey up to bubble guns that way our engineer can do a little bit more popping now 33 we should upgrade our dart monkey as well up to crossbow with a very quick shots and of course because we reforged our dart monkey this dart monkey is actually kind of cracked now the next thing i want to do is i want to buy myself a bit Village. I want to place this village right here and then upgrade it up to monkey commerce and then I want to grab myself a sniper monkey We'll place the sniper monkey up here and then we'll start upgrading it up to the bottom pathway tier 5 And hopefully we can afford to buy the elite defender by round 40 But it might be pretty close But then again, i'm not exactly sure how much money we're gonna make with our reforged banana farms All right, So round 39 i'm gonna go ahead and sell my alchemist here now I'm gonna go ahead and play it out like this I'm not going to be selling any of my farms because this is is only the normal lich because i haven't beaten the uh normal lich on this new account yet all right so here we are let's go ahead and buy our elite defender let's buy full metal jacket and then let's buy large caliber as well we'll go ahead and pop our sniper monkey over to targeting strong um also i'm gonna want to buy sharp shooter as well that way our dart monkey can deal with camo balloons i also kind of want to prioritize my dart monkey to pop camo balloons all right and we almost have the lich boss beaten of course i mean of course it makes sense because i mean we're using the 
elite defender all right so let's go ahead and get rid of the elite defender let's get rid of uh, this as well and then let's go ahead and grab ourselves a banana farm let's place this banana farm up here let's go ahead and reforge it really quick uh plus 10 percent cash that's perfectly fine let's go ahead and buy ourselves a banana research facility like so and now let's go ahead and save up to actually we need to grab ourselves a little bit more of a defense here um i thought the dart monkey was going to be enough but i don't think it's going to be enough uh for these ceramic blends all right so let's go ahead and grab ourselves a ninja monkey let's go ahead and reforge it plus one pierce uh there we go this should work out quite well so let's go ahead and buy ourselves a balloon jitsu really really quick there's our balloon jitsu then we'll also grab ourselves an alchemist we're gonna need our alchemist really quick i'll just go ahead and sell the engineer we no longer need the engineers so let's buy ourselves the alchemist like i was saying and there we go perfect let's go ahead and buy ourselves berserker brew stronger stimulant and perishing potions now with our reforged ninja monkey as well as our alchemist we shouldn't struggle at all now the next thing i want to do is i want to go ahead and grab myself an engineer monkey let's go ahead and reforge it really quick uh reforge i want to get something that lowers the cost so negative 10 percent cost let's go ahead and go with this one because this will save us a little bit of money with our overclock i'm going to go ahead and save up like ten thousand dollars and i'm going to go ahead and sell two of my farms in order to buy another brf all right let's sell two of our farms to buy another brf perfect let's go ahead and grab ourselves another banana farm let's go ahead and reforge it and 10 percent cash 10 percent cost perfect let's go ahead and sell two of our marketplaces to buy another brf and let's go ahead and buy another one and then reforge it there we go and i think that's going to do it for our brfs right now because i'd like to have a mad for the tier two so we're, so we're going to go ahead and stop our farming right now and try to save up for the mad now before i buy the mad i'm going to go ahead and buy myself a village upgrade this village up to monkey business monkey commerce and then grab a bigger radius and then we'll be placing our mad on top of the water tower right here all right so round 59 the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to sell my engineer monkey and i'm also going to sell my alchemist because we no longer need them and then i need to buy the mad so it shouldn't take us too long to be able to afford the, the mad especially with our reforged towers all right so there's our mad now i'm not going to reforge the mad because i'm just going to end up selling it anyways but what i want to do is i want to grab myself a, a bomb shooter and then upgrade this bomb shooter up to recursive cluster because we're going to need to deal with round 63 and now that we've done all of that the next thing i want to do is i want to buy myself another farm and you guys already know we're going to reforge Ooh, this is a really really good one plus 15 percent cash this is like a really good upgrade so i need to remember that this is the banana farm that i want to go for with the banana central and there we go we've dealt with the boss so now that we've dealt with the boss the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and sell that we're gonna go ahead and buy it rebuy our alchemist like so and then we're gonna go ahead and upgrade this dart monkey up to a crossbow master and then actually because we have the crossbow master we can get rid of everything else especially since this is a legendary dart monkey oh my goodness <laughs> All right, so now in order to buy the Banana Central, we're going to need $120,000. Oh my goodness, what did I sign up for, dudes? All right, so now that we're at $80,000, we'll sell two of our BRFs to buy the Banana Central. And now, hopefully, the Banana Central will end up making the money back. But the next thing I want to do is I actually, we need to reforge this. Negative 7% cost. That's perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and rebuy our overclock. That way, we can overclock our beefed up Banana Central, like uh, so. And then let's go ahead and start rebuying our banana farms so i've been doing a little bit of calculations and i think it's better to upgrade the farm all the way up to a brf before i reforge it because the reforge cost is 510 dollars but with the 10 percent increased cost i think i think i end up losing money if i reforge it when it's a zero 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 yeah so the reforge only cost me 510 but we do need to get lucky all right so round 75 i'm going to go ahead and stop my farming uh i want to go ahead and grab myself a heli pilot really quick i want to upgrade it oh wait it's okay never mind i can't upgrade the heli pilot i forgot it was banned um i would have liked to move the legendary dart monkey that way i could upgrade the, this legendary dart monkey up to the apex plasma master but i don't think it's going to end up working out i think my only option is to hopefully get a uh another dart monkey that i can reforge into another legendary dart monkey I don't know if the reforge mod works with the, the paragons but we'll find out here in a second you know what i just thought of a way to save a bunch of money i'm gonna keep the annoying dart monkey because it's negative 12 percent cost so i wonder if that also applies to the apex because if it does dude i'm gonna save so much money and it's gonna be so cheap all right so dude it works on the apex i can buy the apex for two hundred and eighty four thousand dollars. yup and then we'll go ahead and try to reforge the apex once we have it all right so the first thing i need to do is i need to turn 
turn off this because we can't have the overclock buffing the boss now, can we? All right, so we only need $284,000. We're almost there. I'll just need a little bit more money and then we can officially buy the Apex. And then I need to hopefully reforge the Apex because it'd be really, really bad if the Apex was super buns. I right, so there's our Apex. So how much? Oh, it costs $6,000 to reforge it. That's so expensive. Oh, wait, I can't reforge it. Oh, well, I guess we just get a cheaper price on our Apex. I mean, it still works out for us either way, dudes. All right, so now the next thing I want to do is I want to buy more banana farms. And round 85, we already beat the boss. I actually didn't even realize we beat the boss because I was busy just buying banana farms. But it ended up working out for us. Like, the getting, like, that discount with the Apex was super overpowered. All right, so I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it at this for all of the uh, farms. Uh, I went ahead and I reforged pretty much all of our banana farms. So we're making more money from all of our farms. Now, the next thing I'm going to go for is I'm going to go for a sniper. Now, the reason I'm going to go for the sniper is I'm going to keep it a little bit of a secret for now. But you guys will see once we have around $800,000. All right, dude. So here we are on round 100 against the tier 4 boss. I'm not too worried about the uh, tier 4 boss. But we need to save up $650,000 so we can get our next paragon. Now, you guys probably might be asking yourself, like, what Paragon are you going to go for? The only thing I see on the screen is the Apex Palazzo Master, a Monkey Sub, and also a Overclock or an Ultra Boost that I forgot to turn off. Well, guys, not only did I install the Reforge mod, but I also installed another mod that's going to allow us to grab a Paragon Sniper Monkey. Now, this is the first time that I've actually used the Paragon Sniper Monkey, so I'm not exactly sure if it's strong or or if it's OP or not. So you guys will have to forgive me if it's like super overpowered, but I'm not exactly sure how strong it is yet. But it's definitely something that I want to try out because it looked like it'd be really, really cool. All right, so here we are. Let's go ahead and see how strong the Paragon Sniper is. And it looks like we have Paragon Degree 37. Uh, it looks pretty cool. And so far, it doesn't look that overpowered. Actually, it kind of looks kind of buns. Uh, it does make us $10,000 from its ability though. Uh, but I'm not gonna lie. It's it's kind of underwhelming. I kind of figure, figured it would be a little bit better. Or is it like automatically like dropping crates on itself? Uh, I'm not sure. It may be automatically calling in supply drops. Dude, it's automatically calling in supply drops. Do I get double supply drops from the Paragon Sniper Monkey? That's actually kind of dope. That's actually really, really dope. So each time its ability gets off of cooldown, that's like $20,000. That's a lot of money, dude. But it is slightly unfortunate that that, like the sniper par paragon isn't like super strong i say that but it's already at 1.2 million pops compared to our apex that's at 1.4 million and it's pretty much shredding every single balloon as soon as it pops on the screen i don't know guys what do you think do you guys think this uh, paragon is overpowered all right dude so here we are at the end of round 119 let's go ahead and sell all of our farms so at the end of round 119 we ended up with 2.4 million dollars so now the next thing i want to do is i want to go ahead and grab myself a couple more paragons all right so this is pretty much going to make up our defense here. Uh, we have the Sniper Paragon, Paragon Degree 37. We have the Apex Plasma Master, Paragon Degree 32. I went ahead and grabbed a Sniper Monkey, and I reforged it to give it plus 15% speed. Uh, I also grabbed the Glue Gunner, of course. I also grabbed myself the Boomerang Paragon, Paragon Degree 28. I didn't reforge it because obviously we can't reforge Paragons. And I also grabbed myself a Vengeful Sun God, and I reforged the Vengeful Sun God to give it plus 10% speed and plus 1% peers so i think this should be more than enough to deal with the normal lich boss but who knows let's go ahead and see how we're actually able to deal with the boss so far is so good it looks like our towers are gonna do absolutely fantastic yeah this boss doesn't stand a chance guys oh man so this is actually really fun to see what the uh, sniper monkey is capable of and especially since we installed the uh, reforged mod because i actually kind of really like the reforged mod it adds a little bit of a different aspect to a balloon td6 where you can spend money in order to like make your tower stronger or make more money which i think is really really cool but anyways dudes uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did make sure you guys hit that like button and i'll see you dudes in the next one